What's up guys? Welcome to the Scottage. Uh, as you can see, uh, All Powers sent me two 200 watt folding solar panels. They're the SP033 model. Uh, they're polycrystalline panels. Uh, I like how uh, thin they are for one. Uh, they fold up very thin for being uh, four panels for sure. And uh, yeah, they buckle up and everything. And the uh, thing that I do like about it is they have an individual leg for each solar panel, where some only have three on the four solar panel systems, so it bends a little bit. These are much better on Velcro. So I like that right off the bat. All right, so in the back of this zippered case is everything that comes with your solar panels. The instruction manual. Uh, attached are your waterproof MC4 connectors, uh, which is pretty standard in solar panels these days. Uh, then to attach to those, you have your MC4 to Anderson, which some portable battery stations have. Uh, jumper cables are hooking them straight up to a battery. Now, I don't think you can use these without a uh, charge controller, so beware of that. And then I have MC4 to a, a bullet adapter, as well as you're getting uh, how many? Five different adapters here as well. Uh, so you can hook up to almost any portable battery station that there is with the Anderson or this. So yeah, it's great that everything comes in the package. Uh, I also put the link in the description down below for the US and Canada websites. And if you use that link, I get a small commission. So every little bit helps me out, guys. So thanks if you do. So like I said, these are the polycrystalline panels, not monocrystalline, which I'm used to on my roof are monocrystalline. The other solar panels I had are uh, monocrystalline as well. So this is the first time with uh, polycrystalline panels. So uh, we're going to go to a sunnier spot and test these out. So here's the difference visually between uh, monocrystalline, or sorry, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. Uh, they just have that little bit of different look to them. But we're still going to find out its uh, efficiency with the all powers. So with space always being a uh, premium in van life, you don't want these to take up a lot of space. So I want to show you where I keep mine. It's pretty phenomenal, actually. What do we have here? Like four inches, not even a floor space there. So I fit one in here this way, and then I turn this one around the opposite way, and fit that in there, and it fits like that. That's perfect. It takes up almost next to nothing of space. It's great. Okay, I'm in a much sunnier spot now, obviously, and I got the first solar panel set up. The all power is 200 watt. Uh, I'm going to set up the second one in series to it. But I just wanted to say that the, uh, the 200 watts that they put for a panel, uh, you're never going to see 200 watts out of any solar panel, whether it's folding or not. Those are in ideal factory conditions uh, with the right angle and the perfect sun and everything else. So you're never going to see that. But these are pulling... Uh, so we got 133, 140, 44... Anyhow, I've seen them as high as 160, which is great for a folding panel. And the two of them together, if they're getting double that, that's like over 300 watts. So you're going to charge things in no time. It's great, these folding panels. Now, they are a little finicky to set up sometimes, but uh, yeah, for what they are and the size and how easy they stow away in the van, when uh, si or space always matters, right? So... Yeah, let's get the second one set up and we'll see what that does. Something else I thought I should mention while I'm setting up this second solar panel is uh, when I am setting it up, it can be cumbersome to get all four legs deployed at one point. It falls over a lot and everything else with the legs the way they are. So I like to deploy uh, two panels at once, put out both legs, 
and then fold out the rest one leg at a time and it seems to stay up no problem just like that so now with both the uh, solar panels in series here we're pulling in uh, 255 280 283 so yeah we're getting tons of solar on these I think these are a great uh, deal for the price and the size and everything else or I would recommend these solar panels to anybody for the price and everything uh, yeah very worthwhile and uh, yeah having two of them will charge my uh, power bank in no time and then I can switch it over and plug it into the, my house batteries and charge those up so this is a big bonus all around so yeah 100 percent I recommend the All Powers uh, 200 watt solar panels. All right, so let's go over some uh, pros and cons with these. Uh, a lot of the pros, uh, the price being a budget solar panel, I think they perform just as well as any other solar panel that I know of. So that's a big bonus there. Everybody's always concerned about price. And uh, foldability, well, you guys saw how small they uh, compact to inside my van. They take up next to no space whatsoever. Um, great features, all the uh, different wires that it comes with, so you don't really need to buy any other wires other than extension cords if you want them further apart or you need it further apart to plug into your vehicle. Uh, the four legs per panel, I like that. Some of them only have three, like I said earlier, and they can get a little flimsy and floppy. Um, yeah, overall they're a great panel, like I said, I definitely recommend them. Uh, the only con that I could think of would be uh, the length of the MC4 cables that it comes with. I think they should be at least a foot longer so you can spread them out. Like these are very tight together right now and that's about as far apart as you can keep them just because of the length of the cables. So another foot would be nicer. Um, other than that, like I said, I definitely recommend these. I think they're a great pen. So if you're look, looking for something good, definitely get the All Powers 200 watt solar panels. If you enjoyed this review, consider subscribing. It really helps out my channel or smash the thumbs up button or anything. Anything helps. And like I said, all the descriptions down below for the US and Canada All Powers website. And I get a small commission if you use those links. Thanks guys. Take care.